bears the cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil, all the mayhem I have caused and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. How the hell does John Edward get away with his nonsense? You watch his programme, he's throwing out loads of questions, and apparently it's not cold reading, it's real spirit communication. If he gets stuff wrong, stuff that he can't make fit, despite the massive generalisations he makes within his readings, then he's like, oh, maybe you should take it away with you. All oh, this has meaning elsewhere. You'll find connections within your family. And, you know, sometimes you do have to take the information away with you. Blah, blah, blah. Because it'll work if you look hard enough. Is that the sum of mediumship? Gullibility plus looking for connections equals must be ghosties communicating? Is it that simple? If it is, then... It's hardly an art form, it's certainly not communication. It's basically people getting general information from a so-called medium or psychic or channeler and you find where it fits, even if it's an extremely vague hit. Now, some people out there would say, well, there are some brilliant hits out there, some absolutely brilliant connections some mediums have made. That does seem to be interesting, however, when you probe deeper, you f tend to find that these so-called excellent hits are down to things like prior information, or throwing out so much information that something is going to hit sooner or later. So, unless it's tested and confirmed, why should we recognise mediumship is being valid other than within the brackets of religious faith that's all it is in the end without evidence without the proof that these people can do these extraordinary things why on earth should we take them seriously green people Admiral, we have enemy ships in sector 27. It's a trap.